Level one, if you're on the brake, it engage. If you're off the brake, it engage. It was stowed on the truck. That means get extra, extra, extra on the day. Hey viewers and subscribers, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video, right? So I'm excited to share this little um, information with you guys. I mean, this information will mean so much to a lot of people there who does not understand, right? So based on what I'm seeing right now, a lot of drivers don't use the engine brake or they don't know how it is used. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a simple explanation. There may be more technicalities to it, but I'm trying to be as simple as possible so you guys could understand exactly what's going on, okay? I'm about to use the engine retarder engine brakes or the jake brake whichever way you want to call it okay guys so please do not move watch the entire video if you think that i've missed something you could add it in the comment section right i'll reply to your comment your comment could educate somebody else okay guys thanks for watching thanks for viewing my channel i appreciate you, I appreciate you guys all right hope you enjoyed the video all right Alright guys, so this is my dashboard, right? And this here is my engine brake, my retarder switch. Okay, so it has a, as you can see here, it has a um, plus sign and a minus sign, A and B, and one, two, three levels. Okay, so now, as you can see here, it's off. So here is auto. Now I'm gonna explain how the auto, how it works, right? How the auto work is, um, the the auto has, um, it has somewhat of amount of power, stopping power. It's not a lot, but it activates when you press the foot pedal, the foot brake, the start, the um, the service brake. When you press the service brake, the auto engine brakes chips in but it's it doesn't chips in if you're off the brake okay so if the vehicle is just running without you pressing anything you won't it won't engage it only engage whenever you press the brakes so that's it for the auto okay this other level is one as you can see there it at it's at one one whenever you release the brakes the level level one arm um, engine brakes chips in it has so yeah it has some power it, it works it, it has good stopping power but depends on the load you have in the truck it will stop the truck right it will slow it down for you to press your service brake for you to come to a complete stop however level one if you're on the brake it engage if you're off the brake it engage it was stored on the truck level two obviously a level two will be much stronger i like to use level two depends on the weight if i'm bringing like um thirty thousand pound plus the weight of my tractor and trailer um i will use level two if i'm if i have like forty nine thousand pound which i have right now which I just unload 49,000 pound in PA coming from Jersey. I use my level three. Level three is the boss. Level three is perfect for bringing loads. Whenever you're going down a hill, it let you stop the truck so easy. It gives you so much help slowing down the truck. Level two, it does engage with the service brake while you apply the service brake or if you're off the service brake the level two will also apply right a level three rather sorry so this now i'm gonna go back all the way up right if you go to sorry i'm gonna go to all the way down so as you can see here this is a b this is another one this is the b the b when you hold on the B like this, it is the boss, right? The B activates um, 
I can't give the exact detail, but it has something to do with the transmission and the driving shaft right about there. It activates something that slow the truck completely down. It is the strongest one in the truck. So if the engine brake and the transmission working together, right, they both um, stop the truck basically immediately. But you don't apply B, you don't apply B until the truck is basically slow. Like you're driving like at a slower, slower speed and you're going down a very, very steep hill you can apply your B and that is perfect for emergency stopping in case somebody stop sudden on you you can um, apply B that will help you a lot I realize a lot of people they don't use engine brakes um, I'm into trucking just a couple months now I'm young, a fairly young driver but I like to explore I like to watch videos I like to ask questions I like to know what's going on um, so what happened right I realized that a lot of drivers they don't use their engine brake I don't know why if you are gonna be on your um, I'm gonna turn this off all the way up to off right so my engine brake is off if you are gonna use your um, if you are gonna use your service brake to stop your truck driving three four hours your truck is gonna it's gonna maybe catch fire there's a so much truck out there that burnt up the brake lining burnt up catch a truck on fire because people don't use the engine brake to assist them the engine brake is there to assist you to stop the truck you use the engine brake to help stop the truck don't worry about um you're using it too much that's what it's there for it's there for you to use right if it if it break you fix it back it's there for you to use to stop the truck the, what the engine brake basically does is the engine brake has something to do with the exhaust right so the exhaust pressure is coming out of the exhaust pipe it has something on it to send back pressure to the engine to slow down the engine and back pressure that go to the piston that slow down the rotation of the transmission and the rotation of the wheels so all that rotation slow down here i'm gonna show you where that work does so the slowing down of the slowing down of the engine brakes all happen here at the drive tires not at the steer tires not at your not at your trailer tires not at your truck to your your steer tires it's at your drive tires this is where the action slows down the truck okay so these axles under here this drive shaft rather the drive shaft that is here the drive shaft that is up there from the transmission that is where the engine brake slow down these tires right for you to have good stopping power right so that's how it basically so works so that was a simple explanation of how you use the engine brake or engine retarder on the Volvo truck right um, I hope you guys learned something I appreciate you guys um, viewing my channel All right please like share and subscribe for more content and guys you could scroll down on my can my channel there's a lot more videos to watch you understand you could learn something you could share the video it doesn't matter thanks for your support All right, alright guys keep safe out there have a blessed day